Hello, my name is Jonas Turner and in this video I'm going to talk about how we introduced lore elements into the music of Skordsbringer. Upon seeing concepts and hearing about the world of Skordsbringer, I thought that the Skordsbringer itself needed its own theme. A melody. Something that would play throughout the game, all the way from the main menu until the end of the game. Something that introduces a familiar element in each world, yet underlines that there's something forever haunting. <laughs> I didn't want the main menu to feel static. I wanted it to feel alive. So I decided to make a song where the instruments change independently of each other, as well as reacting to whatever the player is doing in the menu. Truly a presence that follows the player wherever they go, corrupting everything it touches. <sighs> I was feeling the idea so much that I even hid it inside some of the sound effects too. Okay, enough about the menu. So, when entering the game, the music is divided into two tracks per world. One stereo track being the exploration music, and one stereo track being the battle music. The idea being that the music breathes and adjusts to the player's tempo in a way, and I thought that making two separate yet same songs could be interesting to explore, as the pacing of the game catered to that thought in my opinion. Essentially what I did was to assemble the song so that when various moments happen in the music on either layer, the exploration or the battle layer, they would both change or do something there, like a fill from a musical instrument, or change the music part, often sharing the same patterns or melodies. In this video I will be talking specifically about the exploration music, the music with which I tried to paint the lore of the world the player is in, telling small stories about the setting with the music. Here, the player enters the game for the first time, a tutorial area that teaches the player how to play the game. This level is a precursor for the chiming tree, a place of rest where the player will eventually gather chiming bells too. I thought to introduce bell-like sounds here, as if the chiming tree is calling for the player, guiding it to safety. We also introduced bells into the level that the player can interact with. The Chiming Tree, a place of rest. Here the main instrument is a mandolin and a mixture of various resonances, in some sense depicting the various pathways you're about to enter. The idea being that the mandolin is another like-minded being awaiting the player at the Chiming Tree, with the finger symbols depicting the bells of the tree as well, placing a sense of ease and trust yet have the twisting resonant sounds reminding the player that there's a lot to see still. The 
The Entangled Ingress is a place with a bunch of vegetation, devils, demons, maggots and all manners of nasty beings and machines. I wanted to mix acoustic instruments and electronic gadgets to make a nice pumping groove. Here the theme of the Scorzbringer is very much present in the chord and melody choices, welcoming the player to its embrace. Still Bastion, a place with talking robot heads in a freezing world where time itself seems frozen. Here I wanted to shift the focus from a warm, pulsing rhythm into a more cold, raspier sound set. I came up with a talking head idea for this world's enemies from a sound design perspective. And with the music I thought to paint their tale, how they got left behind in a cold, still bastion. Depicting the tale of the talking heads, I played guitars through a vocal filter and some warbly electric pianos. Again, the theme of the Scorzbringer is present. <laughs> The Wasted Pit, a toxic sewer. I wanted the music to tell about all the various paths in this world. Millions of pipes and tunnels leading in, creating an ever-changing ecosystem living within its fumes. I didn't want to make a greedy and grimy track, rather make something hectic yet beautiful and mysterious, depicting the wild nature of the place. I decided to try a 7-4 time signature here, as the cyclical nature of it felt fitting to me, like a pipe exhausting fumes and then releasing them in a cyclical pattern, or water flowing rapidly with a seemingly a stable rhythm, but it always sways just a little. I used an instrument called Ahenk for the main riff, and tried to play in a western musical key, but due to the fretless or microtonal nature of it, it's always close, but not quite, which to me sounded nice with the rest of the instruments contrasting it a bit. The Living Walls. The walls are jello and their eyes blink. All these mushrooms around that squeak when touched. This world is turning and evolving, ever growing. That is exactly what I wanted to depict with the music too. At the time, I was heavily listening to various forms of fusion music. Be it jazz, world music, psychedelic music, you name it. And luckily that kind of a sound would fit here well in my opinion. I thought that the world itself is not a danger, it's just growth doing its thing. So I used more evolving textures with a synthesizer that had an evolving pattern to it, alongside more freeform instruments flying in and out of the mix. But the angry robots and spiders you meet, they are the danger. So I put the angry Skullsbringer theme lore stuff more into the battle layer. The Old World, or rather, the grand remnants of the Old World. Majestic orchestral tones to depict that there once was resistance against the Scorzbringer. But eventually the instruments turn mysterious and tell a tale of demise. In the end, you can hear the chiming tree telling you to move on, with the Scorzbringer entangling around the chimes eventually silencing them.
the roots of chaos. Right under the chiming tree, there's a secret rooted within. A pathway that takes you even further to uncover the secrets of the Scaldspringer. Here I thought, as it's the reverse of the chiming tree, it's not there to help you. It's the opposite. It's the real deal. So I thought that it would be interesting to reverse the chiming tree track and see how that feels. And to be honest, it fit the mood great in my opinion. So I left it like that. The Beyond. A look behind the curtains. A mysterious and alien world. The guitars play the main theme in a hazy way, representing the player character's mind being close to the grand secret of the Scorchbringer. You can hear the theme being represented in various ways, from chords to patterns to melodies. You are close to the finale. I didn't want this to be too dramatic, rather be more mysterious and inviting in a sense yet tell a tale of destruction. There are multiple different endings in the game that you can unlock with their own music, but I leave those for your own imagination and speculation. Alright gang, I hope this might help you in any way. Or if you're just interested in general, I hope you found it interesting. Feel free to pop me a message or a follow on Twitter at Kissakolme or on YouTube, Jonas Turner, or both. Yeah, both. <laughs> no stress, no worries. Let's rock and roll. You can find the game on pretty much all the stores and check the music out on Bandcamp. Vinyls are coming out soon too, so keep your eyes peeled. Have a good one. Bye.